your bottom. That did not sound good. <laughs> Come on, let's get this hood on. Hey, Steve, can you help us put this hood on? Everything rides on this hood fitting. This better freaking work. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, this black beauty's done. We done. Life is good. All right. I don't want no stinking problems. No Dude, stinking problems. No stinking. No problems that stinketh. Nothing stinks in here. Now that we have the Mustang locked and loaded, we need to shift our attention back to the Maverick. Shelby, our client's daughter, is coming back from the Air Force in a few days. And we need to get this car off the paint as soon as possible. All we have left is to install the new Shelby-style tail lights. You gotta do these lenses in the back here, brother. Oh, yeah. Here they are. The key to turning a Maverick into a Shelby Maverick is all about the look. All Shelbys have unique features. Badging, decals, paint. Wow, those are sweet, but a little big. And we're definitely going to have to do some cutting. And the taillights on a Shelby are very specific. So we got to swap them out. Hey, uh, want to turn that around the other way? It's right where I don't like it to be. What's the matter? Are you scared? <laughs> Dude, I smelled you before. I'm real scared. <laughs> How's that looking? Smooth as butter on bread. See if it fits now. Beautiful. The new tail lights fit perfectly. Amazing what a little bit of red and a little bit of chrome does to the car. Now we just got to give it the Shelby badging and get it a paint for the classic Shelby racing stripe and shiny new color. With the Maverick finished up, it's time to give Shelby her Shelby. And since our client Kevin is surprising his daughter, I figured I'd bring my own daughter Jess with me too. Hope she loves this car, dude. I think it came out great. It sounds awesome. Most of the time, she's away at school, but she's a car nut like me. And I'd love to be able to show her the cars I work on. She thinks she's coming in for her dad's car. Man, is she gonna get a big surprise? This is gonna be great, man. I, I can't even wait. Here we are. Uh-oh. I feel it now. We're meeting all her friends and family at an old airplane hangar. A pretty fitting place to deliver Shelby Shelby and give her a huge reception. Uh-oh, is that the door opening? was a normal piece of scrap when it arrived to the shop, but we pulled out all the stops on this one. We rebuilt the stock 302 motor and stroked it out. We also fully converted this Maverick into a Shelby. Badges, fog lights, paint, and Shelby stripes. We installed sequential taillights, which really made this car stand out from all the rest. Lastly, some new rims to make this car sparkle. Shelby's been working hard to protect our freedom. So if you ask me, she deserves nothing but the best. It's like everything I've ever wanted to... And it's a Shelby! <laughs> I am beyond happy. Happy is the understatement of the year. I want nothing more than to drive that thing. They're probably going to have to wrangle me in tonight to get me out of that car. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> on out here. I want you to meet the guys that uh, made this happen. This is Tommy. This is my daughter, Shelby. Please. Thank you, Shelby. My daughter, Jessie, Chuck, and oh, Ann. Yes, hey, <laughs> Your dad told us he was away in the Air Force for a long time. <laughs> and he's very, very proud of you. He said you would be so excited if we did this car for you. Oh, my God, uh, yes. We heard you were Airman of the Year. All he did was talk about you. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to do this car for you so bad, and uh, I, I couldn't turn him down. He just thinks highly of you. Aww. This Shelby turned out great. Thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> but it cost us about 16 Gs in parts and labor. So we only made about 4,000. Luckily, we got a Mustang sitting back at the shop. 
primed and ready to hit the track. If we can get that 68 fastback going 0 to 100 in 13.5 seconds, we get an extra 10 Gs, baby. Coming up. I can't wait till Mike sees his car. This pony rides like a true champ. It's gonna be a mean machine on the street. I'm never my time. We dropped a new Tremec five-speed transmission in here, a brand new small block, Rouse 427 SRX crate engine, and to help handle the load, we got the steering as tight as a drum. New rack and pinion, new power steering reservoir, and a new serpentine belt to drive it all home. What do you think, man? Think we should open this thing up on the way there? Let's do it. <laughs> the Roush engine was a perfect choice. It has that gorgeous rumble you want in a muscle car, but it'll also kick you back in your seat like a mule. This is gonna make that number you want. I'm hoping it does, brother. Dude, I have no doubt this is gonna make that number. This car came out beautifully, but we still got a deal to sell. With all the upgrades under the hood, and the purchase price of the car, we're up to about 46 grand on parts and labor. I gotta run this car from zero to 113.5 seconds so we can get that fat bonus and put us over the top. Anticipation is killing me right now. Mike, put it this way. You are going to enjoy this. I, I like what you guys are saying. I hope I'm not disappointed. No, you will not be disappointed. See it from here. I'm very, very happy with it. It gets better well, as it gets that, We didn't actually lower the car. That's just two fat guys in it. <laughs> okay. Let's give him a little teaser. Oh, yeah. That is great. Yeah. Wow. That is, that is you. That's, that's, that's burn right there. That is. Well, here she is, your dream car. It is exactly what I was looking for. I can't believe doing? you found one. We didn't even have to paint it. That's how clean this car was when we got it. You got everything on the look side. Uh, I'm dying to see what's under the hood. Wow. Wow. Whee! You went top dollar, Roush. 427 small block. Biggest thing I can stuff in this stinking car. <laughs> <laughs> Mustangs have, you know, loose steering all the time. <laughs> We got rid of that. We put this new rack and pinion in here. You're going 100 miles an hour. We got to have that tight steering, and we got to make sure you're safe. Put a new transmission in it. Dude, this thing drives like a dream. Everything I ask you to do so far, you've come through. You're obviously a man of your word. Uh, Always. Th there's just that one small thing we have left, and the proof is in the pudding. Zero to 100, 13.5 seconds. That's what I said. That's what you said. And if you can do it, I have no problem giving you the extra 10 grand we talked about. Well, you know, there's only one thing left to do. Let's do it. All right. Game time. I'm pretty confident we can hit the number. Lifelong dream, man. Comes true today. From 0 to 113.5, it's quick. But you just never know until you press down that accelerator and open her up. As soon as she drops that arm, I'm going to smash this gas. I'm going to start reading out the speedometer. All right. Once I get that 100 mark, you hit that button, man. I'm ready, baby.
can fly, but you don't really understand how fast until you're inside of it experiencing it. It's a good feeling, isn't it, brother? I think I might have wet myself a little bit in there. Get out, okay? Good. The car rises four inches. Can't wait to see this number. Show them, Chuck. What'd we do? 13 to 5. Yeah! 13 to five. Impressive. That's way to go. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, buddy. That is. Yeah. Mm. Here you go, brother. Yes, if this is for me, this must be for you. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with Thank you. Thank you very much. Getting the extra 10 G's is huge for us. But right now, I can tell Mike loves the car. And that's the most important thing for me and my guys. And if that means making a car go stupid fast, well, we're happy to do it. That's what we do, brother. Next time on Fat and Furious Rolling Thunder. What do you got here? This is my 1977 Vega. We want to get it in the 8s. Wow. I want somebody to build me a hot rod. And I want flamethrowers. Ha! 